<laughs> Saturday, June 2nd, Mladen, the Scorpion Sting, Brestovac takes on Rico Verhoeven in a rematch from Glory 28 Paris. Mladen, how are you feeling? I'm feeling great. Can't wait for the fight. The Scorpion Sting. How did you get that nickname? Oh, it was a long time ago. I think maybe 15 years ago. Uh, my manager, he knew uh, that I was a scorpion in uh, horoscope. On the horoscope. So, okay. yeah. And he saw my fights and he saw that uh, almost every action that I do, I finish with my left or middle kick, high kick, something like that. So he told me, yeah, I think a good nickname for you would be the scorpion sting because you sting like a scorpion yeah. and after you sting, they fall down. So it's, it's like, <laughs> yeah, it, it works well like for it. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it makes sense. Yeah. I mean, three <laughs> of your glory wins are all by the head kick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fortunately, yeah. <laughs> yeah. How has that been? Because again, another Croatian with a high kick is Crow Cop and who had a left high kick as yeah, well. Do you get yeah. compared a lot to him? Yeah, I mean, in Croatia, it's already boring. I mean, I left, I left uh, Southpaw <laughs> guy kicking high kicks. It's like, okay, we've seen that already. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but it's still good for us. I yeah, mean, yeah, but like, it's, I mean, it's always nice to see a head kick KO. So, yeah. yeah. So your last fight was Hezdi Gerges. It yeah. didn't last yeah. very long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fortunately, it didn't last very <laughs> long. Yeah, but uh, I saw right away in the first round, he was uh, putting his hands down when I threw a middle kick and... You don't do that <laughs> with a guy that has a good high kick. So yeah, I just waited for my chance and threw the high kick. <laughs> yeah, I mean yeah. the way you set it up, the way I see it, is you always change levels with it, and then unexpectedly it comes yeah, up high. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's uh, especially when the guy is close. Yeah, yeah. then it's uh, it's most most easy uh, easy to put the high kick in and work. Yeah, but, but even looking at your Gerges fight, you threw it from such close range. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so that's yeah. why a lot of people don't yeah, expect it. Yeah, 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 that's true. But when you're a southpaw, you have uh, lots of room for your back leg to even to do to do a high kick in close range. Yeah. So speaking of Rico before this fight, he said you were the toughest fight he had. Do you think your title fight with him was one of the toughest? For me or for him? <laughs> yeah, well, for him? <laughs> for him. Well, I don't know. It's. Uh, I think he had really hard fights in glory. And after that fight and before that fight, so if I was uh, his toughest fight, well, uh, I, well, thank you, Rico, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> for that. But uh, I, I don't know. I, I, I didn't feel it like that because maybe he was uh, very dominant in the last few rounds. So I didn't feel the toughness of the fight so much. Yeah, but I, it was very tough fight for me. I mean, I ended the fight. I was like barely breathing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was a very hard fight, but it's different when you're pushing somebody and when somebody is pushing you. Yeah, yeah, so a little bit different. So for me, not, not so not so tough a fight, uh, like the toughest fight of my life, because yeah. I was mostly defending in, in the end of the fight because, yeah, he was uh, he was very dominant in the, in, the, in the ending. What has changed in you since that fight? I think a lot. I think mentally I'm a different guy. Yeah, I think I grew up. I think I had a lot of uh, glory fights, lo a lot more experience. And I advanced in my techniques, especially in boxing. So I think I'm a, a much better fighter than then. How did you find that first fight? I think it was a good fight. Yeah, I think five rounds, instant, uh, almost uh, constant action. So. I think a very tough fight for both of us. Uh, I think he was a little bit uh, surprised by the uh, by how much I put mm -hmm. in front of him, my kicks and punches and everything. So yeah, I think a uh, very very nice title fight. Yeah. Do you think it gave you more confidence now that you went five rounds with him for this fight? Yeah, of course. I think so. Yeah, yeah. It's always uh, easier to fight somebody when you know you know you fight him mm -hmm. already and did a good job. In, so in going time. into that first fight, what was on your mind against Rico? Is it his power I have to watch out for, his low kicks? And then maybe in the fight you're like, eh, he's not as powerful as I thought, or his low kicks weren't as good as I thought. Well, uh, I mean, I know he, he is powerful, but it's a different kind of power. He, he's not powerful like he punches you and then you don't know what's going on. Yeah. He tires you out, and I think all the other fighters already know about that. So... He's a, a difficult guy to, uh, to work because he uh, has high tempo in the, uh, in the whole fight. And then uh, also he can produce a lot of power, but 
I, I told you, <laughs> it's not the power maybe to knock you out. Yeah. Of course, he can knock, knock out people. He's a heavyweight war. Of course, he can. But uh, it's not the power that uh, he throws one kick or one punch and then you're like, oh my God, what's this? I yeah. don't know what's going on. Yeah, so it's different, but it's, it's, he's a very hard opponent. I think he's the most complete fighter in the glory list now. Yeah. All right, man. Well, yeah. nice talking to you and good luck. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> Are you ready for glory? Yeah.